the entrance each one, page 125. How beautiful upon the mountain by the sea for him who brings back fighting, bearing good news, announcing salvation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of God, the Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit, be with you. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the faith of Jesus. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most previous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. May the martyr, St. Boniface, be our advocate, O Lord that we may firmly hold the faith he taught with his lips and sealed in his blood, and confidently profess it by our deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. You have followed my teaching, way of life, purpose, faith, patience, love, endurance, persecutions, and sufferings, such as happened to me in Antioch, Antonium, and Lystra, persecutions that I endured. Yet from all these things, the Lord delivered me. In fact, all who want to live religiously in Christ Jesus will be persecuted. But wicked people and charlatans will go from bad to worse, deceivers and deceivers. But you remain faithful to what you have learned and believed, because you know from whom you learned and that from infancy you have known the sacred scriptures, which are capable of giving you wisdom for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. All scripture is inspired by God and is useful for teaching, for refutation, for correction, and for training in righteousness, so that one who belongs to God may be competent, equipped for every good work. The word of the Lord. O Lord, great peace have they who love your love. Though my persecutors and my foes are many, I turn not away from your decrees. Permanence is your word's chief trait. Each of your just ordinances is everlasting. Princes persecute me without cause but my heart stands in awe 
of your work. Those who love your law have great peace, and for them there is no stumbling block. I wait for your salvation, O Lord, and your commands I fulfill. I keep your precepts and your decrees, for all my ways are before you. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Whoever loves me will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. As Jesus was teaching in the temple area, he said, How do the scribes claim that the Christ is the son of David? David himself, inspired by the Holy Spirit, said, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand until I place your enemies under your feet. David himself calls him Lord. So how is he his son? A great crowd heard this with delight. The Gospel of the Lord. In our first reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy, he is writing to Timothy and observing how Timothy has followed his teaching, and how he was taught by his mother, and how he was uh, raised in the faith, and that there will be persons who will try to deceive and to turn people away from the Lord. And yet, he observes that those who are faithful to the Lord will be persecuted. And we celebrate today the optional memorial of St. Boniface, who was a bishop and also and a martyr uh, to the people of Germany. And he died for the faith. And we are to live for the faith and to remember how and how we were taught and who taught us and the great gift of the faith that we have received and ask for the Lord's grace that we uh, keep his word and love our Father and proclaim the gospel of Jesus with the power of the Holy Spirit to all those that we have an opportunity this evening to spend time with our Eucharistic Lord and to allow him to draw us closer to himself, allow him to Fill us with his grace that we might be better witnesses of him. Those that the church filled with the spirit of Christ may be ever renewed to proclaim the gospel throughout the world. We pray to the Lord. For all who have been made ill by the coronavirus, for all who care for them, and for the governments and people of the world, that we may experience the healing mercy of the Lord. We pray to the Lord. That we who have 
that the wisdom and strength of the Holy Spirit fill all entrusted with public office. We pray to the Lord that we who have the Holy Spirit as our advocate may in turn be advocates for the vulnerable, the forgotten, and the unborn. We pray to the Lord that all persons might recognize the gifts that God has given to us and seek to work for unity and not what divides and to focus on the Lord. We pray to the Lord. For the intention of this man, for Jacob Vernon, for our own intentions, united with Mary, the Mother of God, and all the saints, we add in silence. We pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, hear and grant these prayers, which we ask in union with the Holy Spirit, to Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hand. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the vine and work of human hand, it will become our, become our spiritual truth. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty. Sanctify our offerings by your blessing, O Lord, we pray. And by your grace, may we be set of fire with that flame of your love through which St. Boniface overcame every bodily torment of time. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation and always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord. Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your life. In your mercy you give harder to their faith. To their endurance you grant firm reward. And in their struggle the victory is yours through Christ our Lord. Therefore all creatures of heaven and earth Sing a new song in adoration, and we, with all the hosts of angels, cry out and without end. 
holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Who is all out in the heart? Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, who is all out in the heart. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holy. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took breath and giving thanks and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until we come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that by taking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the priesthood. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and James, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, 
we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I lead you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be saved. Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me, says My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed and most holy sight. But above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you, I'm at a spiritual ancient time. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself fully to you. Never permit me to be separated.
Eucharist. May the sacred mysteries of which we have partaken, O Lord, we claim, give us that determination which made your blessed martyr honor, faithful in your service and victorious in his suffering. Through Christ our Lord. The glory be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go forth the Mass. Lord Jesus Christ, we are here to worship you, present in the Blessed Sacrament of the altar. Through this act of adoration, we want to reaffirm our love for you. May our prayers of thanksgiving tell you how grateful we are for all that you have done for us and for our loved ones. May our presence in some way make amends to you for our past indifference and our neglect of you in our daily lives. Give us the ability to see our need for you and for each other. May peace and shelter with you help us to live together as you want us to do. United by love, by understanding, by mutual concern. We ask you to bless the chosen ones among us, the poor, the sick, and the lonely. Finally, Savior of us all, help us to use these minutes here with you as a time of rededication. Make our love for you and for all men the driving force of our love, so that others may see you through us. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. God, the Father of heaven. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world. God, the Holy Spirit. Holy Trinity, one God. I, the Jesus, Son of the Eternal Father. Heart of Jesus, formed by the Holy Spirit in the womb of the Virgin Mother. Heart of Jesus, substantially united to the Word of God. 
Heart of Jesus of infinite majesty. Heart of Jesus, sacred temple of God. Heart of Jesus, tabernacle of the Most High. Heart of Jesus, house of God and gate of heaven. Heart of Jesus, burning furnace of charity. Heart of Jesus, abode of justice and love. Heart of Jesus, full of goodness and love. Heart of Jesus, the this of all virtue. Heart of Jesus, most worthy of all praise. Heart of Jesus, king and center of all hearts. Heart of Jesus, in whom are all the treasures. Wisdom and God. Heart of Jesus, in whom dwells the fullness of divinity. Heart of Jesus, in whom the Father was well pleased. Heart of Jesus, of whose fullness we have all received. Heart of Jesus, desire of the everlasting love. Heart of Jesus, patient and most merciful. Heart of Jesus, enriching all who call upon you. Heart of Jesus, fountain of life and holy. Heart of Jesus, propitiation for our sins. Heart of Jesus, loaded down with appropriate. Heart of Jesus, bruised for our weaknesses. Heart of Jesus, obedient to death. Heart of Jesus, Heart of Jesus, our source of all consolation. Heart of Jesus, our life and resurrection. Heart of Jesus, our peace and reconciliation. Heart of Jesus, victim for our sin. Heart of Jesus, salvation of those who trust. Heart of Jesus, hope for those who find it. Heart of Jesus, the life of all the saints. The Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. The Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. The Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Jesus, seek and come to the Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, look upon the hearts of your most beloved Son, and upon the praise and satisfaction which he offers you in the name of him. And to those who implore your mercy and your great goodness, grant forgiveness in the name of the same Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you forever and ever. See us, Lord, about thy lawful church, side of Christ, wash me, passion of Christ, strengthen me. O oh, good Jesus, hear me within your wounds, find me, 
separated from you that may ever be, from the evil one, protect me at the hour of my death, call me, and close to you, bid me, that with your saints I may be praising you forever and ever. Amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in thou. Be our defense against the wickedness and snare to death. May God reduce him from the spirit. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, trust into hell, save and the other evil spirits, is found about the world for the ruin of 